Ah, see? The boat washed ashore. Someone did call a serpent earlier. Get in. I will pull. You are quiet. Are you not better than me? I guess. I know you overheard my talk with Freya. You think you understand, but you do not. Why do you say nothing? You said I was cursed. You think I'm weak because I'm not like you. I know I was never what you wanted. But after all this, I thought maybe things were different. You do not know everything, boy. No. But at least I know the truth now. The truth? The truth. I am a god, boy. From another land far from here. When I came to these shores, I chose to live as a man. But the truth is, I was born a god, and so were you. Boy, have you nothing to say? Um, can I turn into an animal? Can you turn into an animal? No, I do not think so. Oh my god. Mother knew? She was a god too? No. She was mortal, but she knew my true nature. I'm a god. Why did you wait so long to tell me? Time of anguish and tragedy. That is the curse. Hmm. What sorts of things can I do? Can I fly? Or turn invisible? I don't feel like God. I do not know the reach of your godhood. But over time, we will learn. You sure I can't turn into a wolf? You are welcome to surprise me. Is this why I hear voices sometimes? Are you sure you've never heard any? Not as you do. That's no surprise. Every god is unique. So, maybe I won't get strong like father, but I'll have abilities all my own? You already do, laddie. Your faculty for language is extraordinary for one so young. Time alone will tell what else you'll become capable of. So you knew all along? I did, lad. But I've known more than my share of gods. Me too, apparently. I wonder who else knew I was a god. Freya, for sure. Rock and Sindri? They do not need to know. <gasps> Balder! Does he know? Is that why he's after us? Do you know him from before? The day of your mother's funeral was the first I ever saw Balder. That is the truth. Hey, we don't have to go right back to Tears Vault, do we? I mean, we're God. We can do whatever we want, right? What do you really feel like doing right now? I will show you. Mir, what can you tell me about that giant lady with the bow? She was called Skadi, Queen of the Hunt. Her father was Thiotsi, who could take the shape of any wild creature, 
and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned second feet, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. She became a huntress beyond compare, even to any god. Odin himself wanted her for his bride, believing she would bear him strong sons. But she spurned his affections, and for that insult, Odin vowed revenge. It was put forth that the Aesir were plagued by an eagle who would steal the precious golden apples of Idun. Not even the finest archer among the gods could bring it down. Odin knew that Skadi could not resist the temptation to prove herself superior, and so she joined the hunt. Skadi tracked the eagle as it flew where she alone could glide, and loosed an arrow from her unerring bow. When she collected her quarry, she found no eagle at all. But her own father, poor Theotzi, slain by his own daughter. She was overcome with grief and shame, for there is nothing nature so reviles as a child who kills their parent. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Are, are you okay? No, son. My goods are underwater. My men are drowned, and yet their bodies continue to walk the beaches. Hellwalkers. They plague these lands. I was their captain. They died because of me. But these abominations sully their memories. I will find a way to free them from their tortured state. In this, I am determined. Thunderstorm scattered all three of my ships across the lake. I know not what I did to anger Thor, but his judgment was swift and brutal. Final bone. Yeah. We might as well return them to the spirit. Maybe he will keep his word. I know and... she's not coming back, okay? I know. I just. Never mind. I just gotta return the bones. Discovered opportunities for hunting and trade in these lands. I gave up my search for Jotunheim long ago. Leave that for the younger, more hopeful men. I, I wonder why all these bones are all over the place. Desecration, typically. Pieces of scattered corpse make for a piss poor soul. No hope for Valhalla or Helheim when your arm's on one beach and your head's on another. Why not ask the spirit? I'm sure he will be forthcoming with answers. Can you finish that story you started? We were near the end of Skadi's tale, 
as the Queen of the Hunt discovered that Odin had tricked her into slaying her own father. Skadi succumbed to her fate as Winter's blanket fell, holding her father as the mountain held her in an embrace to last eternity. Well, that was sad. Aye. There aren't many happy endings for the giants, I'm afraid. Join them. We have collected the rest of your woman's corpse spirit. Show us this magic you have promised. Ah, oh, my sweet Gulvik. Whole again. Rise, dear Gulvik. Awaken, O oh powerful Gulvig! Evni Ukar Bithyast. She says she'll honor our request. Eldifagna. And reunite us? In Gowder! Okay, you are right. <laughs> 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 Force boy. This is true as well. But do not take your disappointment out on me, boy. Take it as a lesson. Yes, sir. Stories. When will you tell one that entertains? I beg your pardon? You just insulted me. Yeah, I got that. So you want a cork cup, do you? Very well, my brothers. I'll tell you the story of Brunia, the brawler. The real story. There was a huge battle, right? His shrine had him in the middle, fighting off Aesir. A pretty story, but no. Brunia, you see, was born with neither head nor heart. So the giants had to complete him with stone. He was strong, to be sure, but also a perfect simpleton. Odin met him wandering in Midgard one day. Found him so amusing, so harmless, so gullible, that he invites him back to his palace in Asgard. 
Here he gets him near his fill of mead, and goads him into all manner of boasts and antics, all for the amusement of the court. And we'll pick this up later. Right then. We were in the middle of a story, weren't we? Odin had invited Hrunia to his palace in Asgard, getting the simple giant drunk to amuse the court. And we'll pick this up later. Part of his crew? That's a tough crew. And all were his responsibility. That's a lot of responsibility. Does it frighten you? Uh... Responsibility. Oh, uh, no. I don't think so. I mean, I think it used to. But not as much anymore. Why is that? Well, being out here. With you. It makes me feel more grown up. Seriously, how did this one captain lead so many men? He had their loyalty, so they followed. And then they all died. He must have been a bad leader. Why do you think that? Well, he led all these men to their deaths. True, but these men chose to follow. Hmm. Even good leaders make poor choices. The best take responsibility for them. Remember this. Boy. Sir. Ugh. Okay. That's going in the journal.
the captain will be satisfied now. Unlikely. He was determined to put these men to rest himself. But he would have never been able to. That does not matter to him. Our victory will only remind him of his failure. Then why do we do this? Father, why did you really want to help the spirit? You need the experience. I've had plenty of experience fighting these things. What's the real reason? Hmm. This man inspired loyalty. He took responsibility for his mistakes, and he was determined to fix them. These are good lessons for you. Oh. Yes. Oh. Right then. We were in the middle of a story, weren't we? Odin had invited Hunia to his palace in Asgard, getting the simple giant drunk to amuse the court. I was there. I saw the Aesir laugh as Hunia leapt upon his shield and swore he'd kill us all and take our womenfolk back to Jotunheim. Then Thor shows up. And does he laugh? Oh no. Thor takes one look at the drunken stone buffoon Brings down Mjolnir on his head so hard that he's got chunks of Hunir in his own skull to this day. And we'll pick this up later. My. That's right. We killed... Uh, we laid them all to rest. I see. So even in death, I am a failure. But in life you were honorable, strong-willed, and you inspired loyalty. These are good qualities, aren't they, boy? Yeah. I couldn't believe how many men followed you here. I... thank you for your kind words. May your journey have a more pleasant end than mine. Well, 
You're right. You didn't seem very satisfied. I guess you never really get over losing ones you care about. Never. Come here. Can you finish that story you started? I can indeed. Where were we? Go. Oh. The mere stone head is smashed to pieces by Thor's hammer. Thor is so startled by the face full of rock, he doesn't notice Hrungnir's body topple right onto him with a sickening crunch. You know what? I'll tell this one later. Let's try this again, without interruptions. Read it. Death itself I swallow, to spring forth life tomorrow. Oh, I like that one. I wonder if I wrote it. Is that the answer there? Says Earth. Hmm, swallows death, brings forth life. Go. Yeah. I wish I had known I was a god in Alphon. I wouldn't have felt so bad about killing so many elves. Well, I'm not sure that's the lesson. You've done nothing to regret. The elves forced their affairs upon us. No, I get it now. We had God things to do, and they were in the way, dragging us into their little problems. Again, are we just leaving that there? I mean, just knowing we're gods makes me feel so much stronger. Maybe you feel a little too good right now. With power comes a big choice, lad. You can either serve yourself or put your godhood in the service of others, like Tyr did. People really loved him, huh? Aye, the god of war, but one who fought for peace had a reputation for being heroic and lawful, using his power and knowledge to stop wars rather than start them. So there are good gods? Once in a moon it's been known to happen, yes. This one mentions places I've never heard of. Seems Tyr really liked to travel. Tyr believed the mind, not might, was key to preventing war and chaos. And he also knew visiting other cultures would give him perspective staying in one place could not. While Odin always hoarded knowledge, guarding it jealously, Tyr was open and sharing with his learning and his wisdom. For this, mortals adored Tyr, showing their love by bringing him gifts the world over. So, whatever happened to Tyr? Odin came to regard him as a threat to his rule. He suspected Tyr of collaborating to aid the giants instead of helping to steal their secrets for the Aesir. The same thing he accused me of, frankly. Though in Tyr's case, I believe he was right. You think Tyr was helping the giants? I do. He felt responsible for the suffering visited upon them by Odin. I suspect he had something to do with helping them cover their tracks. The missing Jotunheim Tower. Correct. Whatever happened to it, I believe it could only have been done with Tyr and the Giants working together. Where is the back? I don't know. I've never been in here. Be it. 
Naturally. Didn't think it would be that easy. No. It's kind of open though. So what now? Rather, a trap for the winds of hell. But where do you think the winds are? The winds of what? Oh, we forgot to mention that. When you were sick, we went to Helheim to get your cure. You did? Terrible experience, by the by. Your dad picked up a new trick, though, with a little help from Brock. Brock was there, too? I... but... We'll get back to this later. Ah, a ski and do from my homeland. Used to have one of my own back in the day. You should take it, boy. Yes, boy, take it. We might need to butter bread somewhere in our travels. This is why no one likes you. Victor, you may lose it, brother. Well, that's unfriendly. Look. Small passages on either side. Perfect for the boy. Careful, brother. Rhea's not here to bring you back if you're cutting too.
would you find? Enough distraction. Do not forget why we are here. Okay. That's from a great desert land, very far from here. Do gods live there? Oh my, yes. Many, many gods. Good or bad? And not as simple as that, I'm afraid. See in that vault that set you off. It is not important. Isn't important to you? It was a rash impulse. You need not dwell on my failings. Wow. That was almost an apology. Well, I guess you do like a flash pottery. Ah. Be ready! The reason the second ring should behave like the first is not to capture the wind. or not. I want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I have to. More small passages. I know. Go. I can't walk so bad. Good luck.
thought those saws were scary. That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Right? Did Tyr know them? I don't know. Like them well enough to cover a massive wall in his vault with them, though. Adventure in some amazing place. Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. <laughs> Everything we've seen and done. <laughs> Maybe it was her gift. I don't see another trap for the uh... winds of hell. Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look. want to learn. Just because you hate being a god doesn't mean I am.
More small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. Small passages. I know. Go. I can't watch, brother. Good luck. And I thought those saws were scary. The wolf giants. Skull and That's right. The bringers of day and night. Ragnarok begins when they catch the sun and moon. Don't you enjoy that at all? Being a god? On an adventure in some amazing place? Maybe Mother wanted us to have a little fun. <laughs> Everything we've seen and done. Maybe it was her gift. Winds of Hell? Maybe we can get up to one of those balconies for a better look.
Morgan! Blind him on your side! Look! There's the wind trap! What of these? Thought is faster than wind. Hmm. Perhaps this isn't about speed at all. Is there someplace else the winds can go? You know, for someone so loved, Tyr sure was paranoid. Aye. Thanks to Odin, with good reason. Chases the sun. For Ragnarok to happen, they have to eat them. These are out of order. Good boy. So the moon goes on the left, sun on the right. With Midgard in the middle, but which bar do I pull? Left boy. The left. Middle quickly. Left boy. Middle bar. Right.
The left. Middle, quickly.
guess that's something. Chain. How? I... I do not know. Wait, I know what to do. Her knife? There's no other way! It's not working! That should have worked! Saved you. That was cunning, boy. The red's free. I think we did it. All right. Let's go see what Tears got for us. Oh, 
big. But no match for us gods. I have beaten bigger. <laughs> Puny troll. Yeah. I'm turned around. Which way is the sand bowl back up? to the end. End. Really? It smells like rotten eggs. Is it still good? Possibly. Father, why did you leave your home and come here? Does it have to do with the other gods there? <laughs> it's just, you hate the gods so much. But Tyr proves that gods can be good. And you're good. You only killed those deserving, right? Yes. Ah. But who's worthy enough to judge? Quiet, Head. We are. We know better. Uh huh. Sounding more like your da by the moment. Ready. Ready. Come. I think I'm gonna like being a god.
We do what we want, and now we're going to go see the giants. Aye. Having learned that travel rune to Jotunheim, we can now head back to the gateway on top of the peak and put that magic chisel to good use. Nobody's getting in our way this time. Come on. Look who's back up and about. Didn't I tell you it'd be fine? Now go send them all. And for Junior? Something else in mind? I'm sure that'll keep you out of trouble. Be too careful now. What'll it be, Shorty? You think what you want? Looks good. off you.
Now what else do I want to tell you?
to going in or what? Ugh. 